can Shelly Ann Fraser Price win her last ever Olympics 100 meters title in Paris 2024? If there's anyone in a record-breaking mood this summer, then it has to be Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Can she defy age and claim one last Olympic gold in the 100 meters at Paris 2024? Join us as we delve into her incredible journey, the rising stars waiting to challenge her reign, and the pressure of making history one final time. The final lap, the legendary Shelly Ann Fraser Price, a three-time Olympic champion who redefined sprinting, is hanging up her spikes after the 2024 Paris Games. Family beckons, she says, and it's time to give back after years of dedication. 37-year-old Fraser Price told Essence.com, My son needs me. My husband and I have been together since before I won in 2008. He has sacrificed for me. We're a partnership, a team, and it's because of that support that I'm able to do the things that I have been doing for all these years. I think I now owe it to them to do something else. Shelly Ann Fraser Price wasn't waltzing into the sprinting scene at 21. She exploded onto it. She became the first Caribbean woman to conquer the Olympic 100 meters in Beijing, leaving a trail of dust and fellow Jamaicans. Sharon Simpson and Karen Stewart tied for silver in her wake with a blistering 10.78 seconds. They became the first ever trio to sweep the women's 100 meters podium at any major championship. Fraser Price's reign didn't stop there. Four years later, she defended her 100 meters title in London, shaving time off her record. While Rio presented challenges due to injury, she still walked away with a respectable 100 meters bronze and another four by 100 meters relay silver. Finally, in Tokyo, she reclaimed her relay gold with Jamaica and secured a remarkable fourth 100 meters medal. The fastest mom. Fraser Price isn't just about Olympic glory. Her trophy cabinet overflows with 16 world championship medals, including 10 gold, five silver, and a lone bronze. To top it off, she snagged five Diamond League gold medals. And let's not forget her scorching 10.60 seconds in the 100 meters at Lausanne, the third fastest time ever for a woman. Sure, Usain Bolt might be the face of Jamaican sprinting, but Fraser Price's legacy is equally golden. Known for her vibrant hairstyles that match her personality, her most impressive feat might be her longevity. At 22, she snatched her first world championship title, and 13 years later, at the ripe age of 35 and a new mom, she secured her 10th world championship win. Defying expectations of a post-baby retirement, Fraser Price roared back stronger than ever. By 2019, she was the world's top sprinter again, adding two more golds to her collection at the World Championships. Even a silver medal at the Tokyo Olympics couldn't slow her down, and at the age of 34, she clocked the fastest 100 meters of her career, 10.60 seconds. That makes her the third fastest woman ever and the undisputed fastest mom in history. Fraser Price wasn't done after Tokyo. Retirement plans got tossed aside in 2022 as she kept blazing the track, a lone veteran surrounded by fresh faces. With her old rivals hanging up their spikes, the weight of Jamaican sprinting glory fell on her shoulders. But age and a lighter training schedule didn't faze her. She stomped on the brakes of the next generation's takeover, clinching her fifth ever 100 meters world championship title. This epic win cemented her as the oldest champion in any individual track event at the World Championships. Injuries. It's been 35 years since Florence Griffith Joyner, the legendary Flojo, set the seemingly untouchable women's 100 meters world record at 10.49 seconds. In recent years, however, a new generation of sprinters has emerged with the Jamaican duo of Elaine Thompson Hara and Shelly Ann Fraser Price leading the charge. Fraser Price, in particular, has captured the hearts of fans with her longevity, power, and resilience. Fraser Price's career is an inspiration. Already a multi-gold medalist with victories in Beijing 2008, London 2012, and Tokyo 2020, 
She's aiming for a historic fifth Olympic gold in the 100 meters at the Paris Games. Her social media declaration, I got Paris on my mind about my fifth and final one for all time, hints at a teary farewell, but also a fierce determination to end on a high note. However, the road to Paris isn't without obstacles. At 37, injuries have become a concern. She had successive injuries to deal with last year. In 2023, a knee injury forced her to withdraw from the Kip Kano Classic just days before she was set to compete. Her bid to solidify her sprinting legacy once again hit a roadblock at the 2023 World Athletics Championships due to injuries. Early in her second leg of the four by 100 meters race, a hamstring injury struck. Despite the pain, Fraser Price showed true grit by powering through to hand off the baton to her teammate, Sasha Lee Forbes. This allowed Jamaica to finish the race and secure a silver medal. This setback was particularly surprising considering Fraser Price's cautious approach throughout 2022. The 35-year-old had talked about choosing her races, prioritizing her health, and managing the physical demands of the sport. The injury served as a stark reminder of the constant battle against wear and tear that athletes her age have to face. These setbacks raise a crucial question. Can Fraser Price overcome her physical challenges and make history in Paris? Rivalries. Injuries might have threatened to derail her career in the past, and their recurrence with age still remains a concern. But Fraser Price has always found a way out of it. However, the path to gold won't be a solo run because Fraser Price faces not only the challenge of her own physical resilience, but also the formidable presence of her long-standing rivals. Mommy Rocket finds herself locked in a long-standing rivalry with her Jamaican compatriots, Elaine Thompson Hira and Sharika Jackson. These exceptional athletes have consistently pushed each other to new heights, both edging closer and closer to Flojo's seemingly untouchable record. The equation becomes even more complex with the return of the American talent, Shakari Richardson. Richardson's explosive performances this season have solidified her position as a contender for the title of the world's fastest woman. The Elaine Thompson Roadblock but if there's anyone who's going to stand in the path of Shelley Ann Fraser making history, it has to be Elaine Thompson. In the world of sports, some rivalries are like lighters. They need a spark to ignite greatness. That's the story of Elaine Thompson Hera and Shelley Ann Fraser Price, two Jamaican speedsters with more talent than a cheetah convention. They push each other so hard that neither is willing to give up an inch on the racetrack not even a teeny tiny centimeter. And guess what? It works. Back in the day, Elaine Thompson Hera and Shelly Ann Fraser Price were more like teammates and cheerleaders than rivals. They even shared sweat and secrets during training sessions. Their first taste of the Olympics together was way back in 2008 in Beijing. Fun fact, just days after Fraser Price dominated the 100 meters, she hopped on the relay team with Elaine and absolutely crushed it, setting the second fastest time in history. But that was then, and this is now. These days, things are a bit different. Let's just say the gold medal hunger and the need for bragging rights have turned those cheers into roars of competition. Elaine Thompson staked a claim in the Hall of Fame at the 2021 Jamaican Olympic Trials when she threw down an amazing time of 10 7 0 seconds in the 100 meters, which was the fastest anyone had run all year in the whole world. This incredible feat not only meant she secured her spot on the Olympic team, but it also meant she beat her teammate Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Not only that, but Elaine also tied Fraser Price's Jamaican national record for the 100 meters, putting them both in the top four fastest women ever for that distance. Then it was time to take the heat to the tracks in Tokyo. At the Olympics, both Elaine and Fraser Price easily won their heats and semi-finals. Then came the big race, the 100 meters final. It was a close race until it wasn't. Elaine used a burst of speed to win the gold medal. Fraser Price got the silver medal and Sharika Jackson took the bronze. 
But Thompson Hera wasn't finished yet. She wasn't going to let her performance at the Jamaican trials hold her back. The 200 meters final was another close race, just like the 100 meters. Fraser Price stayed right beside Thompson Hera as they rounded the curve, but then Thompson Hera showed why she's here to stay. With an amazing burst of speed, she exploded ahead of Fraser Price and crossed the finish line first. This incredible victory solidified her place in history as the very first woman to win both the 100 meters and 200 meters at two Olympic Games, and also meant Shelley Ann Fraser was denied a place in history. Can Shelley Ann Fraser Price clinch her final Olympics 100 meters title in Paris 2024? Amidst battling injuries and fierce rivalries, particularly from Elaine Thompson Hera, the stakes are high. Will the veteran end her career on a high come this summer? Share your thoughts in the comments below.